What's up everybody? I hope everybody is doing great. Welcome to my channel today. My name is Kevin and thank you for watching this channel. Before we continue, I just want to ask you to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell button so that you can always be getting notification whenever I upload a video so that you can be able to learn more about uh, editing. What I'm going to be teaching you today is how you can be able to grade your pictures first using the adjustment layer on your Adobe Premiere Pro. This will be able to help you save time and save money whenever you have a project that you need to grade because number one, time is very important because this will help you grade several clips at the same time or help you grade several apply the same look on different clips at the same time on your timeline. Secondly, as we all know, grading is very expensive. When you do a project and you have already edited it and you need to grade it, you take it to somebody else to grade it, they charge you a lot of money, maybe you're on a budget. So today, what I'm gonna teach you guys is how to grade your own videos, have the look that you are going for, and then also save time with this trick that I'm gonna show you guys. Great. So the first thing that you do is, let's say you've already edited your video. As you can see, for me, I only have a clip here. So let's say you've already edited your video. The next thing you do, you add a, an adjustment layer onto your clip. So you go to your project file for, for folder, click on new item, add adjustment layer. Depending on what frames you are shooting on, you can always choose so that you can be able to match your frames. Click OK. Once you click OK, the adjustment layer is going to appear on your project. You can always rename it. You can name it CT Grade or you can just add color. Okay, the next thing you do, click on it and then drag it on top of your clip. Once you've dragged it on top of your clip, now this is the time to now put a, add adjustments onto your onto your onto your onto your onto your grading. So now this is coloring time. Great. Now that you have already added your adjustment layer on top of your clip, now it's time to to to, to adjust it and, and and add color to your to your clip. So let me just show you guys the clip how it looks like now. This is how our clip looks like. So now that we've dropped this, uh, the grade on the adjustment layer on top of your clip, go to your effects folder, then look for, click on color, color correction. You can choose whatever style you want to use to, to, to color grade. Normally I prefer Lumetri, I prefer, I prefer Lumetri color. Click on it, drag it onto your, onto your adjustment layer. So once you've already dragged it onto your adjustment layer, go to color, click on it. It will obviously change the layout of your screen. And then the next thing we do, we want to see how our clip, so double click on your clip, uh, double, so double click on your clip so that you can be able to see more, uh, your clip side to side. So this is the one that's on the source, this is the one on your program. So this one is, is the one that shows what is already on, what is on your timeline. So now, the next thing we do is, now that we've already uh, uh, clicked on it, we would wish to to grade our our, our our project. So go to creative. So now you can always play around with this as much as you want, so that you can be able to get the best uh, effects that you are looking for. Okay, uh, I would wish to drop the, the grade just a little bit, just so that it looks a little bit uh, vintage. And then uh, add some blue on it, just so that it doesn't look too warm. And we can just add a little bit of like that. And just make it look a little bit vintage. Great. So now, and then adjust your tilt, tint balance there. Great. So now that we have already uh, 
uh, select it or whatever it is that we want because we just want to adjust our clip to fit whatever it is uh, that we are looking for just uh, adjust there we go so now we can be able to to do that see that okay I think that is basically messing up whatever we had already there so now now you can see the difference between this clip and that clip this is a bit warm uh, we made this to be a bit colder so now let's say you've already finished uh, adjusting your your, your your grade great so now that's that you've already color graded your clip uh, using the adjustment layer but then let's say you already have you have other clips on your timeline that you'd wish to apply the same grade so the next thing you do I'm gonna show you guys uh, go to your window so that we can go back to our original work uh, uh, workspace the next thing you do I have another clip let's say you have another clip on the same timeline let's grade choose that I have another clip that I also need to grade so what I can do is I can always either save this uh, this uh, adjustment layer or I can always drag the adjustment layer across the timeline so that it goes all the way and it, it applies whatever I put I did on this other clip to the other clip or the other option is because you want to save it so that you can always apply it to whatever other clip you can always click on it click on the adjustment layer and drag it to your project and then you can always save the name layer 2 you'll say layer 2 just the same way we did so now let's say we have another clip here you can always just drag that on top of our clip then you can do it for the rest of the clips that you have and that's how you grade it thank you very much for watching I hope this has helped you in your grading I hope this trick will be useful to you until next time click on the subscribe button so that I can be able to to get the notifications whenever I upload this video peace see you next time Bye.